Alright, Insidious Chapter 2. I was a fan of the first Insidious. It was a great little horror movie. It was a surprise in the year of 2011, and it had great cinematography, really creepy atmosphere and imagery, um, and it was actually scary. It was a scary PG-13 horror movie. So, needless to say, I was intrigued by the idea of a sequel. I don't know if it was really necessary, but seeing The Conjuring from just this past July, from the same director, James Wan, gave me hope, gave me faith, because he really was improving, it seems, with each horror movie. Still, as the release date got closer and closer, I couldn't shake my skepticism. The marketing campaign just wasn't really doing it for me. The poster sucked. The trailer just kind of seemed like it was offering the same thing. I was worried that James Wan's creative horror ideas were starting to become redundant and tired. Well... Oh, man. I should mention, I only saw the trailer once, so I kind of stayed away and wanted to be surprised by this sequel. I didn't really look into it that much. I actually kind of forgot about this movie for quite a while, um, but I rewatched the first one again, and uh, I really didn't know what to expect with this sequel plot-wise. Well, I've seen the movie, and I can tell you it was a mess. The plot, the script, it was all over the place. I latched onto the characters in the first one. I didn't have a lot of depth, but I really got into their situation and felt for them. Here, they just weren't as interesting. And the dialogue was really kind of stupid at times, and a lot of it just, like, keep hitting me over the head with the same supernatural lingo. It just, it just felt like the same thing. It copies off the first one at times. There's even, like, lines that are pretty much the same thing, and it felt kind of predictable. Insidious Chapter 2 just feels like any average horror movie that we've seen before, like tons and tons of times over, it was cliched. 30 minutes or so are wasted, like somewhere in the beginning or the middle of the movie, like in the middle of the movie or something like that. Just be get just catching up these characters, these two characters, with the threat of the movie. It was just like, what? I already knew that from the beginning, actually from the end of the last movies. Like, if, you, if you've seen the first one, um, you know that the shocking kind of twist at the end of that one. Uh, it, this movie kind of picks up right about where that one ends. There's also like a duo um, from the first movie, and they were like the sort of comic relief. Here, none of that works. There's, they're not funny at all. It's just kind of that lame attempt at humor, and it's just, it, it did not phase me at all. And probably one of the biggest problems with this movie is just that it's not scary. The first one was actually genuinely scary. It had real jump scares, but it was also just creepy and suspenseful. This one, not so much. There's a lot of jump scares, and a lot of them are cheap. Now, I will admit, there were some parts that, yes, were pretty suspenseful, and were, like, had me on edge, like, oh, what's what's gonna happen? What's gonna happen next? Um, there were a few moments like that um, where I was a little scared, honestly. Okay, I'll admit it. Um, but most of it just mm, me mediocre. I was kind of surprised by this. It was interesting. Like it, this sequel tried to interweave events from the first movie, but in an in a way that just it, it wasn't interesting to me. It 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 just. It tried to explain things that really did not need explaining. It just, like, I didn't care. And it kind of just tarnishes the mystery of the first movie. I was kind of getting into it in the beginning of this movie. I liked how the first scene was kind of a flashback. I thought, oh, this is kind of interesting. I like that they're doing this. Because there really wasn't many places for this sequel to go. I kind of thought the first one would be one and done, you know? But um, through much of the movie, I just kind of wanted it to be over. It was like Boo Haunted House. It just was scare after scare. It didn't really have much on its mind to tell you, you know? It, it, it didn't really have much to go for. It just... It didn't really have much of a backbone of a story. And that's a big problem with a lot of horror movies these days. They rely too much on just scares. It's like, it's like horror movies aren't just about scares or any of the other things that are in other horror movies, like, you know, gore or nudity. It's like, you gotta have an interesting story still, or if you're gonna tell the same story, at least make it more interesting, which is kind of what James Wan did with The Conjuring, and why this is such a big surprise. It's like he put all of his effort into The Conjuring, which I actually thought was an excellent movie, one of my favorite movies of the year. And then this just felt like, oh, now we gotta do this sequel to Insidious. Like, it just didn't feel, 
it, it just felt uninspired. Now, if there are any pluses to this movie, they're the acting, which, you know, is great as always. You have Patrick Wilson, Rose Byrne, and some returning people from the first movie. They all do a great job. Uh, Patrick Wilson actually has kind of a, a creepy smile, if, if you see the movie. Um, they all did a good job with what they were given, and uh, they slipped into their characters pretty well. Also, James Wan has become known for his cinematography choices for these uh, past couple of years now with his horror movies, and there are some cool shots. There's a lot of zooms that kind of make it feel like an old-school horror movie. I'm starting to get a little tired of them now. I think he needs to kind of change up his style. But there wasn't as much of that as in the first Insidious. The first Insidious just felt more stylish and more interesting, better paced, just better constructed. Overall, Insidious Chapter 2, it wasn't much of a disappointment because I didn't really expect it to be that good going into it. Um, but it's just another sequel this year that failed to live up. It feels like a step down for Juan, and I'm really kind of baffled, but I, I'm looking forward to seeing him stepping into other genres, branching out, because he did say this was going to be his last his last horror movie, um, at least for a long time, so that interests me, because he's done pretty much nothing but horror movies over the past decade, so i kind of like to see him step into other genres, like with Fast and Furious 7. The imagery in this one, or the atmosphere, just wasn't as cool or disturbing or as inventive as in, in the first Insidious, so um, just kind of a letdown, but anyway... That was my review of Insidious Chapter 2. I hope you enjoyed it. There are people who did like it, but I thought it was really lackluster, really poor. So, um, if you like the first Insidious, which not everybody does, uh, give it a rent, I'd say.